The dragon began to cry, and before their eyes it shrank down to human size and human form, resolving into the shape of Minerva. I'm sorry, Vincent. I shouldn't take it out on you. Yeah, Elric's the one who broke your tower. Alexander. And tried to read your diary. Alex? Yeah, shut up! You should come back to the village with us, Minerva. It's a really nice place. Yeah, when it's not on fire. Hey, shut up! Vincent, I'd really like to come back with you. It always looked like a nice little village. Should we tell her about the egg? No! Do you think Vincent's gonna mention it to her? Vincent? Nah, look at him. He's probably forgotten all about it. Yeah, I guess you're right. Wow, he's kinda dumb, isn't he? The triumphant heroes returned to the village with Minerva, and although they deftly avoided any detailed explanation of what had happened, the more imaginative villagers eventually caught on to Minerva's true identity. Between the loss of the egg and the burning of the village, both the villagers and Minerva were glad to have each other's implicit forgiveness, and so there was peace between them once again. Minerva set up a room in Vincent's home, and ended up never leaving. Elric and Alexander would occasionally ask him how things were going with Minerva, and he seemed to earnestly not understand what they meant. Nonetheless, they seemed to be living happily, and with a bit of luck might live that way ever after. The End